Hey guys, Jamie here again. Uh, this video, uh, I kind of messed up uh, for the start of it because uh, what, what I want to show you guys here is uh, um, this is something new I'm trying is a uh, muriatic acid to uh, clean a piece of uh, ore. Um, and not because that it's got anything of value in it, but uh, just as a display piece. And I just want to clean it up. And uh, I've got it from uh, the uh, piece here. Um, some quartz here that, uh, like th this is the, uh, piece that I broke off a chunk from this and, um, sorry, I get it focus on here, but there we go. Um, there's lots of different, um, materials in here and I kind of want to see if the acid would clean up, uh, the materials and kind of, um, leave like a clean look with, uh, just the pyrite really, just so it's kind of like a golden -y, uh, look because, uh, like, as you can uh, see here, um, if you take away the other materials in here, it's quite rich in pyrite. Um, there might be a little bit of gold in this stuff as well, but very minimal. But that's not what I'm looking for in it. Um, so what I've done here is uh, I've got uh, this little container here. And uh, I've left uh, a piece of uh, the ore in uh, muriatic acid just enough to cover it and looking at it right now I can tell that uh, it's changed color of the uh, um, the acid so something has uh, reacted with it to change color and uh, um, I can still see there's uh, fumes coming off of it actually um, so let's uh, try to pull it out here the uh, fumes are pretty bad. Oh, piece broke off. Um, shouldn't really put your fingers in acid, but this is muriatic, and I can uh, dilute it pretty quick here with some water. So pull that out, and I'll grab the other little piece. So it's very green, both of them. It even changed my color. Uh, the uh, orange and yellow on there. Um, so now uh, I'm just gonna take some water here and just kind of spray them. Let's see what we got. Let's see what it cleaned. It's uh, definitely made it brittle. Um, so yeah, it kind of made it a little bit brittle, but it looks like what it did was uh, um, it's it has actually dissolved away most of their materials, including making the rock brittle. And it's uh, it's hard to get to zoom in on here to focus, but it's actually left kind of chunky bits of uh, the pyrite so um, it'll be interesting to see once it's dry here what it looks like and then I'll uh, put a light against it but I can already tell that it has done what I wanted it to do and uh, it's quite nice looking um, it's doesn't show up super well on the camera here but and the fact that it's wet doesn't help still but it is actually uh, quite interesting so we can dry it here with the rag a little bit not break it like th this is just gonna be a display piece so it doesn't really matter too much so yeah see like in the uh, quartz here it's uh it's taking away the other materials and just uh um, like the green of the uh, copper and whatnot it's dissolved that stuff away um, which muriatic acid is known to do muriatic acid won't touch gold and I wasn't sure what it would do with pyrite but as you can see it's actually left all the pyrite um, and it looks like the uh, basic uh, red iron that there's little tiny bits of that visible. It looks like that's all cleaned, cleaned up and gone. So that's uh, it's quite interesting. And uh, yeah, you can see like it's really visible now, and it's quite nice. Other than uh, just the fact that it's brittle now, but that's kind of be expected when you pull materials out of it. Then it's gonna weaken it. Yep. 
So yeah, I just want to show you guys that, and uh, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoy. And all it is is just uh, um, just straight muriatic acid, um, and it's uh, it's inside. Uh, um, it's like we're inside a house right now, um, and the fumes are uh, like we're in a garage, so it's fine with the fumes. But the acid, it likes to be in a warm temperature to react with anything that you're gonna put at it. Um, and uh, if you need um, Kind of one of the cool things about muriatic acid is if you need to uh, get something to oxidize to uh, quickly dissolve with the acid, you can add hydrogen peroxide and that puts in uh, oxygen molecules into the mixture and it makes stuff way quicker. Like, especially if you're uh, um, using the acid to uh, dissolve stuff on uh, circuit boards to uh, get the gold plating, it makes it way faster. Uh, anyways, that's the uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, it turns out like it looks like it's pretty nice like what I wanted. I'll see you guys later.